Hey y'all, welcome to Creekside Cubing and welcome to part 2 of solving the 2x2x5 two two for the first time ever. So, in the first part, I solved this inner 2x2 two two right here and now I'm going to continue on. So, it looks a lot like solving the 2x2x4 two two except I have an extra layer and I'm not really certain how I'm going to deal with that yet. But, um, it looks like I can solve this top layer that has just the uh, white. Um, so it kind of looks like that, that it belongs over here. Uh, let's see. And just down. Put it up like that. Okay, so I'm just going to need to solve since I have my center rotation right here, I'm going to solve these two white pieces and then we'll see what needs to happen after that. Okay, so now we have that much of the puzzle solved. But we have Hmm. And not only have this to deal with, which I know I can solve, um, I also have these pieces here to deal with. And I have to figure out a way to, to deal with those. So, and I also see that they don't correlate with the top layer. These two do, and these two do. But we have something funny going on here, do we not? Um, okay, that is confusing. This one is, oh. This is super, super confusing. Well, I could try just using my normal parity algorithm and seeing if I can switch these two guys. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this when I do that, but I'm going to try that, I guess. Um, question is, do I actually remember that algorithm? So I'm trying to switch these two. Um, well, let's just go for it and see if I can do it. Well, you know what, I'm just going to go and... Uh, see first if I can remember that algorithm and then I'll apply it here. So I think I'll feel safer that way. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I have the algorithm figured out for that. Um, I actually went and grabbed my 2 by 2 by 3 and made sure I knew the algorithm and even wrote it down. So let's go ahead and try this. So I want to switch these two pieces and I'm just going to ignore that for now. Okay, so our algorithm is going to be F2, uh, R2. Okay, make sure I turn this at the right place. Okay, now U, R2, U prime, R2, D, R2, again R2 okay so that is preserved and let's see here okay it looks like I messed up my 2x2 two two in a way that I did not anticipate but I did solve this layer, so that's really interesting. Well, I'm disappointed I messed up my my inner 2x2. Two two. Um, I think just for interest's sake, I could actually finish the puzzle at this point. Let me try this. F2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, D, 
watching you, Prime Heart 2. And then once more. Oops. Uh, no, I think I messed it up again. Okay, so at this point I have I have my outer layers done, which is not really that significant. Um, unless, can I solve these inner layers individually? I did not think of that before. So it looks like, let me try this once. Whoa, that was scary. I'm just going to move those two. Okay, move them back down. And back up like this. Okay, that's really interesting. Can I do the same thing here? No, that's not going to work. Um, hmm. I think I can flip these two just like a normal edge, right? Normal edge flip. Um, hang on. How would that actually be? Again. Kind of disorienting. Okay, so we got up and over. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I really want to take that chance. This is definitely having more challenge than the two by two before. Um, that's a good thing though. Let's see. Okay, just kind of doing some random tries there. It's not really working. Um, let me fix this other part here that I had before. And then I have an idea. So I need to flip these two. And let's just go ahead and try my edge flipping algorithm. Okay, so, oh, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Oh my, well. It looks like, hmm, we have another problem on our hands. I'm going to have to go back and solve this inner 2x2 two two again and go from there. But in the meantime, I still have this layer right, right here that I don't know how to solve. Um, at this point, I'm not really sure how to do that. So, um... I think I'm going to have to go back and, and fix my inner 2x2 two two and then make another attempt at solving this layer, which is kind of the, the whole part of this video. So, I'll catch you in a bit.